All right, what's up, fellas? Mark Parson, Cornerback Pro. All right, so today I have a literally 11-second clip for you, but it's extremely important in what I teach, so I want to show you that. Um, this is actually a CFL cornerback um, for Winnipeg. His name is Chris Randall. Now, I saw this. I was on my Instagram, and I followed some pages, and I saw this, and I was like, man, this is what I got to show my guys. I, this is a textbook. Like, I want to show you guys read steps. All right, now he's reading the quarterback right here in his read step, so that's perfect. And then he snaps his eyes back to the receiver um, and then makes a play on the outside thigh board. And I want to show it to you, okay? Excellent. This is textbook. Make sure you guys email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com if you have any questions about recruiting. Um, if you would like to improve your skills, I got the one on one mastery program on there, the mind and body training, and all that good stuff, the catching series. So, Make sure you guys email me and then watch every single one of my videos on this page because you're going to get better. Hopefully, that's why you're on the channel in the first place. All right, so let's watch Chris Randall right here. I wish I could play the sound, but it's not going to work on this. Let's watch it. Bam. That is how you do it. Let's watch it again. Something so simple. It's wow. Something so simple. So here's what here's what I see with a lot of a lot of guys, okay? Obviously, as you get older, when you're in college, you're gonna learn about some form of read steps. So some people do the little uh man, little I say a little kickback step. We did that at Ohio University. Um for the first my first two years, no, sophomore year and junior year. And or you could just literally take Two steps back. Why are you taking those two steps back and how does it help you? There's a couple reasons. First of all, you don't want to get into a media backpedal. All right. Here's the thing. If you're in a media backpedal, because you're supposed to be seven to nine yards off, right? So if you're in a media backpedal, you're not reading whether it's a three or five step quarterback drop. Number one. This is very important if you want to learn how to play off man. You need to know how to do this. First thing, you need to learn how to align. So it depends on the guy's split. Remember, if he's really tight or if he's really wide or if he's in the middle, you need to know how to line up, depending upon your defensive scheme as well. So that depends on that. Now, also, so short routes, that's obvious, right? So because I tell my the high school guys, you'll never make a play on a slant or a five yard out or a hitch. You'll never make the play if you just get into a media backpedal. Now, another thing why it's so important. You get into a media backpedal, just start backpedaling out of there. See a lot of high school guys doing it, right? You won't make a play most likely on an intermediate route. What's an intermediate route? You got comebacks, curl, digs, because you're going to be too far away because you're going to get into a media backpedal. Right, so you didn't read the three, so we know you're not gonna make a play on a, on a short route. But then you just get into immediate backpedal. You're gonna be too far off the guy when he does break down on that 14 yard out or 15 yard dig or 12 yard curl. You're gonna be too far away to go make the play. So by taking those re steps, it's gonna make you in closer proximity to the receiver to make that play. Okay. All right. So, like, on this route, you either ran a, what, a now route or a jailbreak screen. Well, nah, I wouldn't say jailbreak because he didn't go inside and I didn't see any blockers. But right here, okay, they try to get him on it now. They're like, okay, he's playing off. Let's see how good he is at tackling. So you take your read steps. You see it's now. So what is a, a, a now route? When he hits you with the now route and he just basically stays there, all right, the quarterback is literally, if it's under center, he's just taking up. He's not taking any steps. It's not going to even be a three-step. He's just going to come right under center and just – Throw it right to him, right? So you take your re-steps. You see it. You're gone, okay? You take your re-steps, foot in the ground, outside thigh board, money, all day, every day. And then you can dance. You can celebrate. Whatever you want to do. I like it all, okay? So I just wanted to show. Oh, another thing. Look how, look how low. Look at that. Look how low Chris Randall is. So I see some guys in their stance. You're way too high. So watch why he watch how Chris Randall can get out of that uh stay, um his read steps. Watch this. Nice and low. Look at that. That's why he can get the perfect, he can get the perfect tackle. 
See, the game is a game of inches, fellas. So you may not think it's important, but it all fits together. It all fits together. So he's nice and low. You know, so I tell some guys, hey, touch the grass, you know, touch the grass and remind yourself to stay low. Drop your butt, get low. And then remain low. Don't start low and then just pop up. Stay low. Stay low in your re step. Stay low in your pedal. Stay low in the transition. Especially, you know, the tall guys. Tall guys. It's going to help you get out of your break. So now he gets out of his break. It's time to eat. Ha! Hit through him. Wrap him up. Textbook. So shout out to Chris Randall for that. That was amazing. And this is, again, Canadian Football League Pro. One of the top professional football leagues. I get a lot of guys from Canada who hit me up. I mean, this is textbook, fellas. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna we're gonna let it play one more time. I want you to see it. Now that I've explained everything, you now have the knowledge, right? So let's watch it. Now you may not think how because you know we talk about picks, which you know, like INTs, interceptions, we talk about breakups, we talk about how to cover and stuff, but I will say this. If you put, and I've been watching film where people have been recruited, uh, star, you know, um, you know, to receive ranking, you know, the stars, and and also when it comes to when the NFL guys are looking at college guys, I noticed this. So obviously they want someone with the measurables. So you're quick, you're fast, you got good length. Maybe you, you know, you can jump high, you got a high vertical. Let's say you have really good film on, you know, you can cover. They know you can cover. That's extremely important. But you know what? I noticed one of the biggest ways to stand out on film, and I'm telling you, is to make at least one big hit a game. I'm talking about blue. Make one big hit a game. Now, this is not classified necessarily as a big hit. I mean, this is more of like a, this is a great form tackle. But I don't know. Let's, let's watch it again. Nah, that will be good for the film. So remember, your film is your resume. So get at least, and the thing is, big hits. I remember Dante Robinson. I don't know if you guys remember him. He was a little, he, you young guys may not remember Dante, but I played with him. He was our franchise guy when I first came to Houston. And then he went to Atlanta and got paid a huge contract. And he, he was a little guy, by the way. Dante had to be like every bit of 5'10", 170 soaking wet. All right? But the thing is, he balled out in his early years. He ran a good 40, a really good 40, 4'3". But Dante had at least one big hit a game, man. I, I went back and watched his film while I was there because I was like, yo, because he was holding out. So I didn't see Dante until, like, the end of training camp, right? But Dante had some huge hits. So on your highlight film, you, you probably want to put it at the beginning, too. So you want to put your interceptions, your big plays, where you're looking fast, where you're making turnovers. You know, you're creating turnovers and takeaways. But big hits will get you – We'll get them to look at your film. I'm just giving you a heads up. But you got to put yourself, the thing is, you want to put yourself in the best position to get those big hits. Because sometimes big hits come from when they weren't ready for it. You know, we talk about deception and, and, and disguise a lot. Like Dante's hits mostly came, the big hits, now he did make some hits when the guys were looking at him, like running backs were coming, he makes some nice hits. But majority of those hits came from when a guy just caught the ball and he came in. He's at the right place at the right time and just cleaned the clock. You know, it, it's a little it's a little different now because the game is a little different. So you got to actually kind of wait for them to get the ball and take a step or something crazy like that, man. But, you know, that's, that's part of the game. But I'm just telling you, get big hits. And how you get them sometimes, first of all, being a tough, a tough guy, make sure you have really good leverage. You keep your head up, stay away from their head. Um, and just be, you know, do use the right techniques, okay? So this was a great video. I wanted to, you know, to show and explain it and to show you guys, professional guys, doing it. Stay low in your in your stance. Get low in your – and take those read steps. Learn how to read the three and the five. You can read it, you know, the quarterback's under center or if he's in shotgun. You can do both. And I've explained those in my on my channel, and it's in the one-on-one -on -one mastery program. So. There are no excuses for you guys not to ball out with all this information on this channel alone. Make sure you guys are a student of the game and keep getting better. Did you do your 200 push-ups today? Did you do your 30 pull-ups? Did you do did you do some sprints? Did you jog, you know, your two miles? Did you study your, your work? You know your playbook. It's a lot of stuff, man. 
So keep getting better. If you guys want to get recruited, if you're in high school, um, get your parents on collegefootball.io. I'll leave it in the description box. If you want to develop your one-on-one skills, your man cover skills, email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com and ask me for the one-on-one mastery program, and I'll include everything else. Stay tuned for the next video because I got something else for you. Peace.